This is the Reverend Andrew Foran bringing you the service of spiritual communion for Sunday the um, 7th of June, Trinity Sunday. The service will begin in a few moments. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Almighty God, to whom all hearts be are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for today. Let us pray. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. First reading is from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 11 to 13. St Paul writes, Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And some words from Psalm 8, verses 1 to 2 and 4 to 7. O Lord our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world! Your majesty above the heavens is praised, out of the mouths of babes at the breast. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what is man that you should be mindful of him, the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him little lower than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honour. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands, and put all things under his feet. And the Gospel reading from St Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am always with you to the end of the age. Just a quick few thoughts uh, from those readings, and especially that today being Trinity Sunday, there are many um, images and uh, sort of attempts of explanations to sort of describe how the Trinity works. So I don't propose to uh, say much about that, um, but rather just to take a few moments to think, well, what does this say about the nature and our beginnings of an understanding of our Almighty God, as we express it in the Christian faith. And really it tells us, the Trinity, that our understanding is never going to be fully complete. It's telling us that actually God is far bigger, far more majestic, and therefore of a mystery to us, but not in a dismissive way. That's the danger, I think, that can happen. We can then say, well, if that's the case, we don't understand and we're in danger of dismissing God completely. It's not that at all. Rather, it's holding this fact very much in our minds that God is far bigger than us, um, and therefore we appreciate and value him, that he is greater and more majestic than we can ever possibly imagine. And not only that, but God calls us into that loving, full perfect relationship um, between him and ourselves. That's what the Trinity, of course, is trying to explain, uh, the Trinity between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and that level of relationship that's picked up there in the words 
of the psalm. So, as we continue with our service for Trinity Sunday, let's hold those thoughts very much in mind, that we worship a God who is far greater and far more majestic than we can ever possibly begin to contain. And for that we say thanks be to Almighty God. So we move on now to a time of prayer where we bring before God uh, matters and issues of the world at this time, continue to bring before God the current pandemic at the stage that we are now at. Mindful too, this has been quite an eventful week with what we have seen happening on our TV screens in the United States. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you that you are a God who is far greater than we can ever imagine. You are a God that we can never finally, fully, completely contain. But rather, Lord, it's the other way round. Your, your greatness, your majesty, your mystery draws us closer to follow you and to apply you and your ways into our lives around us. Father, we pray that we may grow in our faith in appreciating and valuing the majestic God that you are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we bring before you the needs of the world. We pray for the continuing situation in our own land and indeed internationally, responding to the continuing effects of the pandemic. We pray, Father, for those who continue to suffer, for those who are becoming um, a victim of the virus, the new sufferers. We pray, Father, that they may not be afraid or worried or over-anxious, but to put all their trust and care and reflection in you, to know that you embrace them, that you love them, and that you protect them and care for them at this time. Father, we continue to thank you and praise you for the skill and the energy and the um, commitment and dedication you've given to so many people who willingly and readily care for us, for our doctors and nurses, for those too in social care in our nursing and care homes. Father, bless them with the energies they need in their care for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And Father, we bring to you the situation internationally regarding the events of this past week and all those who are raising their voices as to what has happened. Father, we do pray for peace and for calm and yes, for injustices to be addressed, to be rectified, but in a peaceful manner and in a way that addresses the needs of so many people that have we're hearing have been going on for so long. Lord, you know the situation that we are in. We ask you now for your comfort and blessing and guidance and wisdom on all concerns and those who respond to those who are in high authority. Give them guidance and wisdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray, Father, in a moment of quiet and stillness for ourselves as we now begin to prepare to come to the time of a spiritual communion. And mindful, Lord, that because of the things that we do wrong and say wrong, that go wrong in our daily lives, that we're not worthy to come to you. Yet you are God who invites us to come into your warm, loving presence. We do so now, sorrowful for our sins and shortcomings and failings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, 
for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. We pray. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us. Since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly. Day by day. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I am with you always. Be with us today as we offer ourselves to you. Hear our prayers and keep us all in your care. Amen. And so to a blessing for Trinity Sunday. Blessing and honour and thanksgiving and praise, more than we can utter, more than we can conceive, be to you, most holy and glorious Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, by all angels, all people, all creatures, by ourselves, for ever and ever. Amen. That concludes our spiritual communion for today and I pray that you'll be richly blessed for the rest of the day and on into the week. Every blessing now. Goodbye.